<laughs> Embrace the chaos. Yes, this is what we've been waiting for. We want to see the suit. Damn. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sinto with the Intel, and you know what? Today is Monday, full moon, moon night, ladies and gentlemen. This is what's going down the full blown trailer for Disney Plus's next project. But before we get started, yo, if you're excited with me, as me, regarding this, and you want to be up to date and up to speed with it, make sure you hit that subscription button and click the bell icon. That's how YouTube knows that you did when we were given. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing going. All right, Oscar Isaacs. Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. I have a sleeping disorder. I can't tell the difference huh. between my waking life and dreams. Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. Okay. Whoa! What the hell is a way to wake up? Dang. Ah, I like that Kid Cudi rolling in the background. I'm losing it. <laughs> we'll catch you. There's the Egyptian reference. Bloody useless. Stevie. Steven. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. I can't tell the difference. Whoa! I like that. Dreams. Oh. Thank you. Wow. Lost the contact lens. Hope you find it. <laughs> Thanks. March, huh? That's right around the corner. Ah, the reflection doesn't even move. Yeah. Oh my God, you're alive. What's wrong with you, Mark? Mark? Why did you call me Mark? <laughs> it must be very difficult. Who in the world? Where? Voice in your head. There's chaos in here. Okay. Dang, look like he might have been in a padded room a little bit. Oh! <laughs> Embrace the chaos. Yes! This is what we've been waiting for. We want to see the suit. Damn! Yo, you give us somebody to work. Ooh. Yo! Oh, yes, that is awesome. I got official chill bumps, so that lets you know that I'm definitely all in on this one. Hold on, man. We're going to have to break. The okay, so, man, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got a chance to see Oscar Isaacs in, like, his full swagalia. Got to hear the accent, which was dope. Um, yo, I mean, first thing off the top of my head is that I'm thinking about, like, Fight Club references, right? A little bit, you know? Like, you didn't know if the narrator was a... a, a was, uh, asleep or awake during all of this stuff and then you've you've got the multiple personalities that's going along with it as well um i'm not a hundred percent familiar with the comic book but i do remember um uh hearing references regarding him being like a cab driver and also being like this this multi multi-millionaire type-esque kind of thing and some many people have said that there's like a a bit of like a batman-ish kind of element that goes along with moon knight and i didn't see any of that on this that's this seems like it's standing on its own merits and its own grounds regarding the insomnia regarding the fact that he looks like maybe he he works for the museum um, we didn't. I didn't really see anything regarding his multi-millionaire persona or even him driving the cab. So I don't even know if that's even going to hold true. Of course, um, you, you can Wikipedia a lot of this stuff and get more of the background regarding Moon Knight. But this seems to be leaning more so on the fact that he's got uh, this insomnia addict, this sleep disorder kind of thing that's going along with it. But yo, the reveal of the costume coming together, that is just worth like a million dollars in itself. I had that same kind of feeling of like when Iron Man first got in his suit the very first time we saw the trailer and you got a chance to see it like kind of like breathe and flex and it, Iron Man suit almost became like a character of its own. This isn't on that particular level, but it's still really good and fun to watch to see it all come together. And then you get the really good close up as he's like walking towards the camera. You already know how we get down. We're gonna go ahead and watch this one more time because there's gotta be a bunch of tidbits that we just missed. All right, let's go. I like this. The clock is kind of slowly Hello, ticking. And welcome to Yo, and you saw like there's like a bit of some clues right here regarding like the tape. You know, I guess that's to keep him from uh, letting him know if he's already left, you know, because the tape has already been gone. So the insomnia is already being a problem. And then you can hear the phone call uh, being made 
and welcome to staying awake. Staying awake. Disorder. You know what? It may not even be a. I can't tell the difference. It may not even be a helpline. Awake and live. And dreams. It may be an uh, app. And welcome to staying awake. Yo, look, 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 and look how how everything changes too with just the visuals. Like you see the shirt now that he's wearing black and everything. Whereas before in this one, he's wearing white, he's wearing the white pillow and everything. So it's giving like that kind of like that edge of purity, I guess, you know, that scene. Like this is like the more pure version of him before he turns into the moonlight. Yo, oh my gosh. Yo, there was a little bit of a clue I think I kind of saw right here, man. Uh, in the sand, right? There's sand on the bed. Look at that. Okay. So I wonder what the sand is for. You know, I know in a lot of like, uh, like a cult-ish kind of things, like you'll put like... Um, What's that uh, salt around something in order to keep like and ward off spirits and stuff like that? Uh, the sand, I wonder if it comes from like Egypt, like where the pyramids are. That would kind of tie into a little bit of the story. And you see there's books everywhere. So he's certainly like a learned individual regarding whatever his this craft is. I'm just assuming it's going to be some type of archaeological kind of thing. Oh, but you got to tie yourself down because you don't trust the, the sleepwalking that you're possibly doing. I love the Kid Cuddy too. This is just dope I'm too. losing it. Catch. Look at that. So we see ancient Egypt. Let's get a little bit of a better, better look at that. Everything bright. So yeah. So he looks like he may be like a curator. He'll catch you all. You're bloody useless. Oh yeah. You see all the Egyptian Stupid. artifacts everywhere. You can see all of this. Yeah. Yeah. So this this is definitely like his thing. And he's got the nagging boss. <laughs> Nobody loves the nagging boss. Stephen. All right, Stephen. I can't tell the difference. Whoa, there we got a, got a quick little flash of the suit, too. Look at that. That's a great freeze frame of the eyes on top of the other one. Give you, give you a good idea of what, what we're dealing with. Between the eyes and dreams. Oh, oh. Yo, and you see the color palette change again, too, right? Now, everything is black. The hallway's black. The, the, uh, the um, elevator is black. He's wearing a black shirt, so he's definitely a lot closer to his darker side, right? Thank you. And I love how they got the exit sign in there. Like, there's a way out, but you got to get past whatever it is that's heading and walking towards this elevator. It's a nice touch. Lost the contact lens. <laughs> Hope you find it. Thanks. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo, it's just little things like this. Like, he's walking around, but the image still remains the same. And then you see it in front of, like, what well, looks like an Egyptian artifact as well, too. Mm. Who is yeah. that? Oh my god, you're alive. What's wrong with you, Mark? Mark. Why did you call me? Yo, that's the first introduction into like maybe another version of himself, right? He's still wearing a black shirt, which you know kind of leads you to believe that we're going into like darker areas. And then he found the found the phone in some little hole. Mm. It must be very difficult. And this dude, my man just pops up on the scene. You got people touching him like he's like the next messiah. You got the messiah god complex maybe going down. Yo, everybody's over here taking a knee except for my man Moon Knight. We are obviously in another country based off of some of the stories that we've seen. We're looking in the background. Uh, Gas Delore and Restaurant. And then there's something in a, with a totally different language as, as, long, as well as that uh, truck. So maybe, uh, maybe he's heading towards Egypt. Maybe he's in... Um, uh, in the Middle East or uh, North Africa. In your head. Yeah, man. Chaos. Yo, the imagery is just great in this trailer, right? You see, you see him breaking a, you see him breaking the mirror and the picture of himself, like he's fragmenting himself. Yeah, keep it going. All of that. This chaos. My man looks crazy. This white suit, padded room. My man wakes up with a gun in his hand. Oh, falling upside down. All of this is great. Yo, okay, let's go back a little bit because I think I saw something inside of the inside of the uh, the uh, shadow. Oh, look at that! You see the moon? You see the moon? The moon is chasing him as he's running away. Yo, that's great! I love that. Embrace the chaos. Mm. Oh, you know what that reminds me of a little bit? You remember that old 1990s movie Spawn? Kind of like how his suit kind of formed on him a little bit. That looks kind of dope. I like that. Ugh. Yo, and it kind of looks a little bit like raps too, kind of like uh, like the mummification process that gets done 
Um, looks like bandages kind of happen all over him. Yo, that's dope. Yeah, hey, just the beat down. And whatever he's beating ain't human. It looked like I saw some ears popping up and you hear some gurgling going on in the background. Yo, so that lets you know that Moon Knight is definitely capable. And there was a fight going on in that bathroom. Look at all the broken sinks. Look at this. Oh my gosh. His legs look all jacked up. Whatever that thing is. That's writhing in pain. Did I see ears maybe? Oh, it, it was a little bit ears. Kind of like a... Maybe a coyote or something? Oh, that's, that's. Mm. Don't matter if you get in his hands. That's a Batman beatdown. Boom. Yo, and then we had that reference earlier regarding some of the bandages that we've talked about. You know, with a lot of uh, the Egyptian burial process that was done in the pyramids, of course, there was a lot of wrappings. And then we get a chance to take a look at Moon Knight with his mask, kind of with that same thing and the all white eyes. I wonder what that symbol is on his chest. All the symbolism is great. And then I love that there's the mirror that's behind there too as well because he's kind of like walking away from what you think is going to be like the reflection of himself. That's dope. I'm feeling that. And, you know, there's the, of course, you got the moon reference and you see the light over there on the side. Like it's a crescent moon, like a half moon rising or whatever it is. That's, yo, they did some work on this. I think this is going to be good. March 30th. Mm. Yo, Disney is just just consistent with dropping bangers and then not just disney marvel itself um taking like obscure uh our comic book heroes and then bringing breathing some life into them i'm not gonna lie to you i mean i do like comics um I, i'm hoping that when we get another later trailer we can get a little bit more information regarding who we think is the antagonist the guy that looks like he may have like the jesus complex um <laughs> they, uh, they, everybody's kissing on him like the messiah complex thing kind of going on i do want to know a little bit more about him of uh, those that are like really into the moonlight moon knight lore yo let me know uh, in the comments who you think that person is going to be hey thank you so much for hanging out it's your boy Sintel with the intel please make sure you click that thumbs up and click the bell icon so you can get up-to-date notifications anytime new traders like this drop yo, this was a ton of fun and yo thanks for hanging out mahalo peace